Hello everybody, I'm going to tell you a wonderful story uh, of uh, Hindu mythology. It's based on mythology and I'm sure you're going to enjoy the story here once again. Well, uh, long, long time back, uh, in the many, many thousands of years ago, there were lots of gods and there were lots of humans and all of them were living so beautifully with each other and they were in sync with each other. They were very happy. But the humans became so powerful because they became so divine that they started feeling a little proud of their power and their divinity. So that they started being arrogant, they started getting rude, they started disobeying the laws of the gods. They felt they were gods. So the gods got worried. They said, this is not on. So there are three main gods as per Hindu mythology. There is the Brahma. Hello. There is Vishnu. Let's presume them they are. And there is Mahesh. Mahesh. So Brahma, Vishnu and Mahesh, the main gods, are having a meeting. All with all of the gods and saying, now this is too much. We have to do something about these humans becoming very, very powerful in this whole universe. Now they are going to ultimately, you know, kind of push us out. So they said, no, this can't happen. The, the humans, though they are good, but since the power has gone to their head, uh, we better do something about it. So they called for a big meeting with all the gods around. Gods, goddesses, everybody has come for a conference, may not be a video conference, we just come together and let's all discuss. So Brahmaji is the oldest of the gods and he said, listen everybody, I'm a pretty old god and I want you all to think over this, this is very, very serious matter. These humans have got enormous amount of potential, energy, and they are taking advantage of this. Now what do we do? So uh, the god said, okay, what do you want us to do? They said, think over it. And uh, Brahmaji, Vishnuji, and Mahesh, here he is. So they said, okay, let's think over it. What do we do? So they said, okay, uh, there is this divine power which these humans have and which they are kind of very, very proud about it. And it's, it's a very divine, powerful thing and they're using it, misusing it actually nowadays. So the divine power was amazingly good. It was like all bright and shiny and you can see it was in power. And I said, what do we do now? Where do we, we take this out from them first? All the gods agreed, yes, we're going to do that. So they said, okay, after taking it out, what are we going to do? So they said, we're going to hide it from them so that they don't use this power again, you know, for all these misdeeds that they're doing in this earth, coronavirus and stuff like that, whatever is happening. So they said, yes, of course. So they, they told the gods, do you all have any kind of suggestions for hiding this, this beautiful power, this divine power from these humans? So the all gods said, yeah, let's think over it. So Brahmaji said, put your thinking caps on, fellows, and please tell us what ideas do you have to hide this divine power. So everybody thought and thought and thought. And then there was this couple of gods and one of the gods, name not known, comes out and says, I got it. This is, everybody asked, what? I got an idea, he said. This is what? So they said, I am going to hide it on top of a mountain. They said, what? I said, I'm going to hide this divine power on top of the mountain, total top, huge highest mountain on the surface of the earth, and they will never find it, you see. And they gave a thought, and then, who do you think? Our God Mahesh. He said, are you okay? You don't you know that these humans, I know that in the in, in the later years, they're going to come, they're very curious people. They're going to come, they're going to climb that mountain and then they're going to discover this treasure and they're going to take it. I heard there's somebody called, later on, many years later, there's somebody called Denzing and Hillary and I'm told they're going to climb the mountains and then they're going to climb, even Mount Everest they can climb. You see, I am very familiar with the mountains because I myself sit on this mountain 
and pray. But these humans, they're going to come everywhere and take it. No, not a good idea. Oh, they said, okay. So, idea gone. Then, now another god said, okay, I got a brilliant idea. And everybody said, what? Brahmaji and Vishnuji said, what, what, what is that idea? He says, okay, we are going to keep it in the deepest ocean. They said, where? The deepest ocean. We are going to go to the ocean and we are going to put it right under, deep, deep down. And it's going to sink at the bottom of the ocean. And you think these humans, they will not reach there at all. It's going to be right down to the deepest of oceans. Guess what happened? Vishnuji said, come on, that's not a good idea at all. I've been on the oceans and sitting there for years and years and I know and I can foresee that these humans are going to actually, you know, get into the ocean and explore for something. I've heard there's something called oil and natural gas. So they're going to do the drilling there and what they're going to get is our beautiful gem. So no, 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 no. This is not a good idea at all. Think of something better. So they thought, they thought, they thought, what do we do? It's not in the mountains. It can't be in the ocean. Then another another uh, god said, I got a brilliant idea. I said, what? We are going to put it under the earth. We are going to dig. We are going to dig and dig and dig. And we are going to put this beautiful treasure and potential you know, divinity. And we're going to dig it and put it in the deepest of the earth. Down, down there we're going to put. And they can never find it. So Brahmaji said, hello, don't you think of that? You see, I know the earth and I know these humans as well. They're going to dig the earth and they're going to lay cables later on, I'm told. And they're going to do all sorts of, they're going to put tunnels under the earth. They will do everything under possible. They are curious lot. And then they will discover this while they're doing the digging. So they said, no, this idea too is not a good idea. So everybody thought and thought and thought, so what do we do? If uh, digging of the earth is not okay, if uh, you know going on the mountain is not okay, if going under the water is not okay, then where? There was silence and everybody was thinking but nobody could get. Where is that place where the humans will not reach? So Brahmaji said, since you're not getting any ideas, I got a brilliant idea. And the God said, oh, is that so? Brahmaji, please tell us. He said, I got such an idea that these humans will never reach there, never ever reach there, and they will never find there. Uh, they will everywhere, see everywhere on the earth, but they will never find this divine power, which is going to be hidden. So all of them said, please tell us your idea, Brahmaji. Please tell us your idea, where is that place where they can't find? So Brahmaji said, hello, here I go. And the place, can you all guess? He said, and the place is going to be inside the human beings. There it goes. And you hide it there, inside their mind, inside their heart, and they can never find it. Trust me, he said, these humans, they look everywhere else, under the ocean, mountains, everywhere outside them, but they never look inside. And I've studied these humans very well. And all the gods said, that's cheers, that's very nice, so great. So we're going to hide it there. From that day, that beautiful treasure is hiding inside every human being. Nobody is about to find it because we look everywhere else. If the day comes when you go and look within yourself, I'm sure you're going to find it. So this is a beautiful story where the talent, the power and all the treasures of human, being, human beings lie inside yourself. Go find it. I hope you enjoyed the story. Thank you so much.